next guest, a very funny comedian and actor you know from his work in the Apple TV Plus series Physical and the film Babylon. His new special, Rory Scovel, Religion, Sex, and a Few Things in Between, is streaming now on Max. Let's take a look. You ever Google porn addiction just to see where you stand? <laughs> Get to the website, it's like, how often do you masturbate? It's like, don't ask me questions. <laughs> Show me other people's answers. I'll decide what rock bottom is. Please welcome to the show, Rory Scovel, everybody. <laughs> You are, uh, you're pleased with the clip we showed. I like that. I like that a lot. <laughs> Let people know where I stand right out of the gate. <laughs> I'm not afraid to talk about porn and masturbation. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> oh, not everyone applauded, though. Yeah. We're not. Some of us aren't. <laughs> this is a fantastic special. Thank you. You shot it in Minneapolis, where I also shot my special. I think the genuinely uh, great audience. Is that what drew you to do it there? Yes, absolutely. Every time I played Minneapolis, I feel like those audiences really show up. I feel like they're supportive. They're there for the show. And I think you, you as a comic, you start to track that as your career goes on. Uh, what are the places that like me the most, especially if we're taping it for permanent reasons. <laughs> yeah. It'd be great to have their support. So yeah, that, that was why. We were talking backstage, I was complimenting you for how this is so, I mean, it's so well written, but it also has a real looseness to it. But that wasn't necessarily yeah. the plan. There's a lot of things in this special that happen night of that are wonderful. Yeah, that you just sort of found on the night. Yeah, I think it's that uh, trying to be in the moment and be present and, uh, you know, some of that came out of me not remembering some of the jokes. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, ooh, I better pivot and try to find something. <laughs> You're married, you have an eight-year-old daughter. That's right. How, uh, how does your family feel about them being talked about on stage? Not, uh, it's not bad. There was, uh, as this, uh, my wife is, is in, the, in the, the, the special a lot. I can talk about her a lot. And so I did have to come home. <laughs> one, uh, one night after running it, I came home and I was like, you should see it. You, I might need a signature. I might need you to sign something that it's okay for me to expose us in this way. Um, she, but she gets it. She's had to put up with it for 20 years. So she, she gets it. Uh, other family members, I haven't heard from everybody. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> my my in-laws, we sort of warned them not to. We were like, eh, you know, watch it your own. It's your own risk. If you want to watch it, watch it. If you don't, totally fine. And I haven't heard from them, uh, which makes me think they watched it. So. <laughs> Yeah. You have a, uh, you're open, for example, this might be not a thing for in-laws, uh, you're open about taking mushrooms a bunch. Yeah. And you compare uh, the difference in taking mushrooms to going to church. And, yeah. And uh, why don't you lay out for my audience the yeah, question I'm, you asked. I, well, I've done mushrooms uh, about 30 times. I've gone to church. I grew up Catholic in the South, uh, the Bible Belt. I've gone to church thousands, I guess. And uh, I asked the audience, you know, which one do you think I've talked to God the most? <laughs> And if you get it wrong, you have to kill yourself. <laughs> you, ha you have to. So now, how are you voting? <laughs> yeah. You, uh, there's another really nice moment that happens. It feels like maybe unplanned, where you admit to the audience you tried too new a joke. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I just said it. I, I, it was based in religion, and I had just said something about uh, <laughs> the attractiveness of Buddha. <laughs> So I'll leave it there so that some people are like, oh, maybe I should watch this. Um, but it, 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 it that, me just saying that got a bigger response than the joke itself that night. And I was like, oh, this is not the space to try out new material the night that we fired up the cameras. So, yeah. Uh, you're also very honest about the planning you've put into what you would, how you would handle your family during a climate event. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I wondered, you know, if the world is... If it's the end, if, if, if it's the end and the pillar, the, you know, the institutions have fallen apart, the pillars of society have fallen apart, you know, is it, what's too early to murder, suicide your family? <laughs> what, you know? <laughs> and not everyone's gonna laugh at that, but, 
but <laughs> smart people will, and that's all that matters. But uh, yeah, when, like you know, like it's day one. It's like day one, like kind of shady. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and shady's the term. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you already killed your family? That's pretty shady, dude. Yeah. That's that shady. That is the word they use. That is the word. That's what the, the investigators will say yeah. shady right off yeah. the bat. Yeah, he seemed pretty shady the way he murdered them. Uh, you talked about uh, your clothes off the bat. And you wear a is this shirt. Is this tattoos of people but my, my, me on their butt? Yeah. <laughs> we only found the one guy, and we think it might not be you, but yeah, close. It's my wife. My uh, wife has me tattooed. You, uh, so you're wearing a shirt, <laughs> uh, a shirt with oranges on it. Yeah. Okay, so is this, how did you come to have a shirt with oranges on it? It's Illuminati based for sure. <laughs> Um, <laughs> no, that's a, uh, that's a Father's Day gift that my wife uh, bought for me. And uh, I immediately made fun of it when I got it. Yeah. And I was like, what, why did you get this? I'm not gonna wear this. And then I just had it in the closet and at some point I decided, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna wear this shirt. And I'm not, <laughs> I'm not even kidding, that day, three separate people were like, oh, that's a badass shirt. <laughs> And every, like, but the first time I was like, oh yeah, you think so? And they're like, oh yeah, I love it. And I was like, oh yeah. And we got to the third one. I was like, oh, you know, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> this, did you get this thing? <laughs> I shop, I shop and I buy. I buy, <laughs> I buy what I like and I don't care the cost. I find out the cost at the register. Uh, I had the same, my wife said basically, I, <laughs> no, this is almost the exact words, I hate how you dress on stage. <laughs> nice. I was like, fine, you pick an outfit, and she picked what I thought was the dumbest outfit, and yeah. then that night afterwards, people were like, you look great, I like I that. I know, I and know. Like, oh, so they do know better yeah. than me. Yeah, yeah. and it, it crushes everything, your whole yeah. perspective of what you wear and what you think you look like. <laughs> oh, no, no, you look like <laughs> all the time. <laughs> Let your wife handle yeah. this. Yeah. You put on what you thought were the dumbest clothes you've ever <laughs> wore, and for the first time, people were like, hey. Yeah. I mean, I legitimately was like, there's oranges all over it, babe. I'm a cool guy. I can't look like this. Uh, hey, uh, we found, uh, in doing our research for this, that you, uh, you have a LinkedIn page. Yeah. Anybody uh, wanting to be successful in business does. Um, <laughs> We also noticed that uh, you have a, a one connection and three followers. Yeah. There's the amount I said, of I said anyone who wants to be <laughs> successful, but I didn't say they are. This is a, a blinding amount of white space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not, it's not, you know, there's no aesthetic here. It's very you don't much feel the like template. The hubbub of connections. Yeah. Right? Why did you set up a LinkedIn page to begin with? I was, this is gonna sound so creepy. Um, I was looking for a friend from high school. <laughs> I had tried all the usual places any of us would go, Facebook, Instagram, um, and I then was like, oh, maybe LinkedIn. And so I made a profile just to find him, and I did, and <laughs> when we met up, I go, I don't wanna freak you out, but I made that just to find you. I don't, want, I don't want that to ruin drinks, but I'm a little creepy. I'm a creepy boy. I'm a creepy boy looking for you. Yeah. You also, here's your subpoena. And then I just leave. I like that you somehow got the job to deliver a subpoena and you're like, I know that guy. That's one of my old high school friends. Yeah, holy you, uh, your first uh, stand-up was open uh, mic night, South Carolina? Uh, South Carolina, Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? Whereabouts? With Lauren. Ah, uh, all right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crap. <laughs> <laughs> like any of those places can compete. <laughs> no, mine's better. Where I'm from is better. Uh, yeah, I, I went to, to college in Spartanburg, South Carolina, and my first night of doing stand-up, when I finally was like, I'm gonna try it, you know, there weren't really any shows. And I found an open mic poetry night and I asked if I could do stand up. And uh, they were like, <laughs> literally, I called the venue. Who doesn't care about the show at all? And I was like, can I do stand up? They're like, we, yeah, yeah why, okay, great. I told like 40 friends, they all showed up. And I, I the, all the poets were like, do you mind going last so that everyone stays? I know, and I was just like, yeah, I don't even know what this is at all. 
And then I asked the bar, I just double checked, I go, and you're sure it's okay that I do stand up and not do poetry? And they're like, you brought all of the business. <laughs> you can do whatever you want for as long as you wanna do it. We don't care about the show anymore. Um, and so yeah, I just went up at the end and uh, I just tried to like, talk about topics with my friends in the crowd. And, it was... and did you feel like when you walked off stage that first night, were you like, I'm gonna do it again? Yeah, yeah. 100%. I, I tasted that drug and I was like, I gotta get some more of this. This was, this was so much fun. I wanna like totally dive in and, and pursue this now. Uh, well, it's wonderful, man. I'm so glad that all happened. I am such a fan of yours. Thanks so much Thank for being you. here. Oh my I God. really appreciate <laughs> it. Thank you. Rory Scoville, everyone. Rory Scoville, Religion, Sex, and a Few Things in Between is streaming now on Max. We'll be right back with more Late Night.